Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today things are changing, <laughs> and I'm terrified. I thought before I make this change, maybe I should talk about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, all of that stuff. <laughs> so you read the title, I am cutting my hair. So I have been mentioning that I've wanted to cut my hair for years on my channel, and it's honestly because since I was 16, so like about half my life have had this length of hair, and I need to change, and I've clearly been wanting to change for a while, so I'm finally actually doing it. Maybe I should go ahead and say this up here. Just in case anybody's freaking out, I own extensions. I also have a sister who has very long hair that looks eerily like mine. <laughs> so weird. So we're not gonna lose any long hair content. Great, it's gonna be fine. Great. Let's all breathe. Yeah. I'm gonna breathe. We're all breathing. I'm breathing. You breathe, I promise. I breathe. You guys breathe. We're all breathing. <laughs> But the good thing is now we've got this hair, we've got my hair plus extensions, or we have my hair short. So I think my channel just has more options now. Something for everybody. And it's just taken me a really long time because I've... I think I've decided a lot of what I did with my hair based on my channel, which makes a ton of sense because it's what I do. But also, I think when you're a creative person, you have to let who you are from the inside come out. And I think part of that for me is gonna be doing what I've wanted to do with my hair for a really long time. I mean, another thing is that like, I definitely have like damage and breakage on the ends. I had kind of a rough year, didn't take great care of my hair. So, you know, I feel like Fresh haircut, fresh start. I'm excited about it. And honestly, I'm just excited to try something new. I think I can give you guys better advice, better tutorials if I've actually lived with it. I alternate between being very nervous and very excited. I even had to talk about this in therapy yesterday. <laughs> That's what level I'm on with this. P.S. My therapist signed off on it, so we're good. <laughs> I've got an emotional support sister and doggo coming in. Hi, baby. We're coming to show you love and support. Hi. A little paw. He thinks they're going to be beautiful with short hair. Thank you, Peppy. I'm basically going for a similar haircut to what I have now, just shorter. I want it to sit up here when it's curled, so I'm gonna get it cut a little bit longer because whenever you curl your hair, it shrinks. Cell Cell actually does really good, like textured looking, like effortless cuts that also are insanely stylish. It's very hard to toe that line, but he does. Okay, so when I'm going through here and I'm doing this, I'm looking at the general overall haircut and then the stuff that I'm drawn to I'm just gonna click on it and then like look at it like see if I can see where the shortest layers are see if there's any bangs or face framing anything and see if I'm okay with all of that that way you know if you've taken a look at it and you make sure that you see a little bit of everything that's going on when you take it into your hairstylist they're hopefully gonna interpret it the same way that you did yeah so what I'm seeing though I mean I like it a little heavier right here heavy means that you can really see the ends, so this is not heavy, this is wispy. So heavy would be like more kind of a blunt look, but still with some pieciness in it. When I say pieciness, I mean there's not a straight line. It, it looks like it's textured, like it's been lived in a little bit. And then I do like when I see a little bit of layers that are just like maybe this far up. Okay, going back to Sal Sal real quick. But I think I have my collection now. Also, when I'm looking at this, I'm comparing the haircuts that I like and that I'm drawn to, to the hair type that I have. So if it's like super pretty and great and looks really full, then I look and I'm like, but does she have more hair than me? Um, I think I've got it. It's all about right here. It's all got layers. And then there's some shorter pieces around the face that start right about like jawline, which I'm good with. So I think that's what I'm gonna ask for. We're going to hope for the best. I'm very nervous. Okay, peace. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's happening. I know. Welcome to the salon. I'm at Douglas Carroll Salon here in Raleigh. And I'm freaking out. <laughs> you look freaked out. Jordan is my hairstylist and he's gonna be doing my hair today. You guys are gonna meet him in like two seconds. He's already trying to talk me into going shorter than I thought. So we're gonna see how that goes. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so we're here. This is my stylist, Jordan. Hi. I have to tell you what I'm thinking now. Yeah? I'm ready. Do you know Sal Sal Hair on Instagram? I do. Yeah? Okay. Very well. It's kind of my dude. I was thinking something like this. I like the more full kind of textured ends. I like the layering that's like minimal, but like noticeable. So she's a little more layered around the face and kind of everywhere. She's got a lot of like movement 
internally, which I like. They've all got a strong corner in the front. Okay. As far as what you have now. Oh, you're right, it's not strong as a The shape is really rounded. Mm -hmm. So it kind of modernizes it to really bring the back up and freshen it up. And all of a sudden you can kind of like find these little layers that you have around the face. Uh -huh. And we can just kind of pick where we want to bring your length to. And I really like, you know, something kind of... Like that? Yep. Where do you think it would hit in the back? A little shorter. So okay. you're looking kind of like... Okay. Collarish length little shorter in the back, minimal layers, square the front. Square or like slightly triangular. So you have a little bit it. of a corner. Cool? Yeah. Let's do it. Into it. Nice, right? I love it. It's just fresh. You know what's crazy is that it doesn't feel weird. It's fresh, it's new, it's different, but if you want to go back to where you were, it's not going to take you years. Gotcha. If somebody at home wanted to get this haircut done, what should they ask their hairstylist for? They should definitely assess the density, okay. like up here on their hairline. Mm -hmm. Just figure out kind of like where your longer pieces are if you're looking for a length to go to. Otherwise, if you know kind of the length you're looking for, that collarbone is a really nice point of reference. And you do have some surface layering going on, a little bit of internal layering. Ask for maybe collarbone length, a little shorter in the back. Yep. Surface layers and maybe a little internal layering yep. if it would make sense. Yep, love it. I love it, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoyed it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Stop. Et voila, here's the hair. All cut, all done. I love it. The full disclosure, this is a few days later and I've been playing around with the hair, taking so many selfies and honestly, super loving it. Super duper loving it. I've been styling it lots of different ways. I even just filmed a tutorial for next week on these waves if you're into them. But overall, it's been super duper fun and I'm really into it. I just thought it was so much better now that my hair is this length because going through the process to get that wig on was so tedious. And then working with the wig and making it look realistic is a whole nother level of tedious. So this just makes it easier for me to make a bigger variety of content overall. And that's why I was really excited about it. Like I wanted to make the change for me first and foremost, but I also thought, hey, this is gonna give me so much more diversity on my channel. I'm really excited about it. So that's what's going on. It feels like new, it feels next, it feels fresh, it feels like me, and I'm just really excited about it. So I hope that you guys like it too, and I think that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button to help support my channel. If you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Beretaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa, and all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you are old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye! Ya googly. I'm a good ya googlizer. Forking short balls. I just did the whole outro perfectly with my mic unplugged. This is your moment. Favorite. Pippin, this is my moment. And I'm gonna take it.